Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue with the series on Python. Now in the last video we have talked about modules right and it is awesome. Now in this video we are going to talk about a very special variable name as name. So it's a variable, special variable name. It's because we use a double underscore here. So in Python we have this special concept called double underscore. Again we'll talk about that later but at this point let's focus on name. Now what is name? So let's say if I go back here and if I say print, I want to print a name variable. So we can directly use double underscore and say name. And the moment you run this code, you can see we will be getting main. Now, what is main? Now, if you are coming from C, C++ or Java background, we know that, you know, main is a starting point of execution. Same goes for Python. The moment you run this code, if this is your first code, okay, because see, in your project, you might have multiple modules, right? Maybe five module, 10 module, but there will be some module which you will run first. So this example demo.py is my first module. Maybe with this demo, I will be having multiple modules, right? So, but this is my first module. So the first module name is always main because that is the point of execution. And so that's where your code starts. So the value for name here is main, but here's a twist. What if, if I go back to calc, okay, so this is demo, right? This, the file which I'm working with now is demo. If I go back to calc, so you can see calc is empty. At this point, just to test, I will print hello, that's it. My main purpose here is to print hello, that's it. So if I run this one, you can see it says hello. Nothing else, just says hello. Now, after hello, let me print the name variable here. So I will say name underscore underscore. Now, what do you think? Will it print main or something else? Of course, since I'm running calc, it will print main because I'm running calc, right? But if I import a calc in demo, let me just do that. I will say import calc. Now what will happen is everything which is there in calc will come to this demo file, right? Including the print statement. So that's why if I run this code, of course, this will print name. Instead of uh, just printing name, let me also print demo says. So I'm saying demo says name. So demo will print what? Of course, demo will print main. What about calc? Now calc will print the name of the module. So you can see it says hello calc, which means that's the name of the module. So if you are running calc, of course this name will be main. But if you are importing calc in another module, then it will print the name of the module. Okay, that's important. So the moment you say name, it's very special, you know, the value changes, that's why it's called variable, right? So name value changes as per the place we are using it. So if you are running the file as a main code and if you're using name, that will print main. But if you print name, which is imported as a module, then it will print the module name. Now, why is helpful? Uh, it's because we have talked about functions, right? And we say that everything, so let me just remove this part as of now. So why it is helpful, why this name is helpful is because when you work on a project, of course, everything should be in a function, right? Example, if, even if you want to print hello, that's it. My main job here is to print hello and then I want to welcome the user. So if I want to say print hello and then I want to say welcome user. So I want to do these two things, okay? I want to say hello, I want to say welcome user. Now I want to do this only when this demo is the first file, okay? So I want to print hello and welcome user only when the demo is the first file. So if I run this code, you can see we got hello and welcome user. But the problem is if I go back to calc now and calc is doing something, okay, calc will have its own statement. But here I'm also importing demo. And as I mentioned, calc will have its own feature. Let's say it's time to calculate. That's it, I just want to print in times to calculate. Now since calc is my first code here, okay, so I'm not running demo, I'm running calc. So demo becomes a module for me, a separate module. The moment I run this calc, it is also printing hello and welcome user. I don't want to do that. So to avoid that, what you can do is you can define this in a function. You will set def and you will write the function name as anything. Maybe I will just time in, I will say main. And I will put these two statements inside Main. So you can see I have written those two statements inside a main function. Okay, now of course you need to call it, right? So normally if you want to execute that from demo itself, you have to call them. So if I run demo now, and if I run this code, you can see it will print it. Okay, that's an issue. I want to call main only when this is my first code. So in this case, you can check if, if the name variable, remember the name variable, if the name variable is equal to equal to main, right? Now see the magic, if I run this code, it will print hello and welcome user, 
But the moment I go back to calc here, and if I say run calc, this time I'm using demo as a module, and you can see it only prints in its time to calculate. So this is the idea, okay? So if you want to start a code, and if this is the first thing you want to show the user, because this is the start of the code, and you want to call it, that's where you will use this thing. And that's why if you see Python codes or some books, this is what they write, okay? So it simply says, if name is main, then only execute main. Otherwise, if you are importing this as a library, you don't want to print main. So that's it everyone. That's how you use this special variable called as name. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section and click on that thumbs up button there. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye-bye.